Hi everyone! Today we have a little theoretical lesson. We'll talk about how to prepare for the first flight on a new location. Let's imagine you know a nice mountain you've seen on a picture or maybe during your weekend hike. How to prepare for the first flight there? I start my preparation with the check of the line on a map. It can be Google Earth or FatMap. The main thing is to check if the glide ratio required for the line is good for you and to find out if there are any flat traps, the flat places where you might run out of altitude. At this point you should already know the glide ratio of your wing in different conditions. Also on a map you can check if there are any possible landings and launches. Check the orientation of the line, how the sun is going to work there. Also check how the main valley is oriented and if there are any secondary valleys which can influence the main weather patterns. After you like the line on the map, try to find the local pilots. You will be able to get some useful info, especially if your desired line is on a ski resort. There can be some rules and agreements which you need to find out and follow them in order not to ruin the nice place for everyone. Also, there can be some weather tricks and uh, not obvious things, which better to know in advance. After you got all the information you could, go check the landing. Asking someone to follow them on the first flight just because you don't know where the landing is, is plain ridiculous. Me personally, I never agree to be such a guide, because if I crash on a flight, what's your plan? Check nicely the main landing and the emergency landings, if there are some. If you were not lucky to get the info from the locals, we really recommend spending some time on the landing area on a good day, just to check how weather patterns work in this very location. Especially do that if it's a complex terrain with narrow gorges, crossing valleys, rivers, lakes and glaciers. We prefer to fly on new or hard locations in the mornings. In this way, if something happens, you have daylight to organize some rescue operation. In some countries, heli doesn't come at night and in some countries there is no heli. Now time for the emergency procedures. Find out the numbers of the rescuers. Sometimes it's better to know their direct number to the team than 112. It makes everything faster. Also, learn the place, the name of the places of the mountains, where is north, where is south, just to know how to communicate with the team, with the rescuers in case of trouble, and also check their emergency trails, maybe to the middle of the line, some roads, to do everything faster in case of troubles. Are you flying alone or with a partner? If you are alone, prepare the ground support. It can be your wife in the hotel, who knows all the location and your line and emergency procedures. Agree with her to be in touch before launch and after landing. I recommended using the radio as a main device and the phone as a secondary, because it's much faster and easier to use the radio. And also phones quite often break and crashes and it's a very good idea to have a backup. Check on your location if your mobile connection is reliable. Buy a local SIM card or make a good uh, roaming plan. And also, if you're flying a lot alone, it's a good idea to get the GPS tracker. It's quite lightweight and easy to use. When flying with friends, every member is a ground support. Have a good connection with phone and the radio. Know the location and emergency procedures. Have uh, insurance information of your friends and emergency contacts. Don't be a useless ballast in the team. If you make a lot of runs with the lift, don't be lazy to check where is your friend if he is missing on the landing after the flight. Care about each other. Discuss your actions in different scenarios with your partners and practice them. Also, imagine worst case scenarios and make sure that everybody knows what to do in which situation. The easiest way to fly on a new location is when the locals guide you. But don't fall into a tourist trap, you still need to make the same preparation as you would do if you flew alone. Again, don't be a useless ballast. 
Also take into account that for locals everything is now well known and much easier than it was on the first flight. So they can omit some information because they don't think it's important anymore or they don't want to sound preaching. So get info from them and do your preparation in advance. For example, go and see the landing area the day before. Don't do it at night five minutes before the start of the hike. A common situation is when everyone flew and you're left alone on a launch with a tailwind and you have to hike down alone. So be ready for it, have some food, water, warm clothes, headlamp, know how to use the GPS on your phone. This all sounds like a common sense, but that's exactly why people start neglecting it. Don't underestimate the good scouting. Don't be afraid to look like a safety nerd. It is much more annoying to fly with someone who doesn't know where the north is. So that's all for today. Fly safe and see you in the mountains.